Hey, I'm back with another awesome unboxing video. And today we got the Undertale Little Buddy Series 1 figurine set from Fangamer. So these aren't new. This isn't the new series or anything. This is the first one. They've only made two, so that's not saying much. But I finally got um, finally got around to buying these, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, do a little unboxing video for them. Because uh, Undertale is cool. Yep. Alright, let's get started then. Alright, so here it is, out of the shipping box. Um, it's a very, very nice display box too. You can buy these separately, but um, I wanted the whole set and I didn't want to buy them separately. <laughs> and if you don't, if you buy the whole thing, they come in this nice, long window box. Box with a window, whatever. Um, Alright, and then we got Toriel the Human. Papyrus, Sans, and Lesser Dog from Undertale. Uh, let's see, side of the box has a nice, let's get that in the light, nice Undertale heart. Some, I think some of the names in Japanese, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and on the back we got some renders of the models that they base the figures on. Very cool, another heart. Uh, not for humans under eight years old. So this is a very pristine collector's set. <laughs> It also costs a bit. Um, let's see. More stuff. Copyright 2020 Toby Fox. Which is cool, because this is not a new set, and they still update the boxes for the year, so that's kind of cool, I think. So yeah, from Fangamer. Alright, let's uh, open it up and check out each figure. Um, also within the shipping box was uh, this little plastic bag with um, some little goodies or whatever. Let's... Um, See what we got inside. So right here on the front, I think is a um, like a, an art print or a little card print of um, Chris from Delta Room. I really really like this. Sorry, this is nice. Um, shows you, yeah, it's like a little little design card set or whatever. But yeah, that's nice. It's a nice little inclusion. Um, also got a. I think this is just a little fan gamer catalog of some sort. So this has got a bunch of fan gamer. What is this? I guess game franchises that fan gamer makes merch for. This is all official merch too. So that's the cool part. You got your hats, your keychains. Um, so you got shirts. They got a lot of shirts. You have. Undertale stuff. There's a sand splash. Really want that someday. Um, yeah, you got all sorts of stuff. Fan gamer. For some of the prices, all the quality is there. So you might be thinking it's kind of expensive to spend what thirty-six dollars on a banjo kazooie plush set. But when you think about it, it's all worth it in the end. It's all. It's the quality is all there. They're all very nice, like these figures that I'll show you in a sec. Um, but lastly, in this bag are what I assume are stickers. This one is for the fifth anniversary of Undertale, which is uh, this year, which is pretty crazy. I remember when Undertale uh, first released five years ago. Um, I wasn't really into it at first, but I think I waited a, like a few months to like a year to play it, and then I did, and I'm like, man, Undertale's a good game. I like Undertale. Um, and then here's a little fan gamer logo with a flowey there. Nice sticker. Sticker series featuring Undertale. Design number 28. So there are more of these that you can get when you uh, have your little fan game order. So that's that's a nice little bonus. Um, so yeah. Alright, let's get on to the actual figures then. Alright, first up in the set we got Toriel. The, um, the tutorial goat. Well, that's not our whole purpose in the game, but she does. She is the character that kind of teaches you the ropes uh, once you start playing the game. Um, this figure is cool. <laughs> I love the details in the robe, uh, the little symbol on her robe, um, to all these little marks to indicate that it's cloth. Indicate that it's cloth, right? Um, yeah, she's got a cute little face. She's got her long goat ears, her little horns. This is really nice. Um, the one thing that's cool about all these, which I'll show off with each one, is that they have, uh, their names on the base. So you got Fangamer, you got Toby Fox Copyright, um, Happy Worker, which is probably the company that actually manufactures these things. 
pretty sure, I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, her name, Toriel, and uh, the Undertale logo. Which they all have their own name on their bases, which I think I mentioned. But it's cool. It's very cool. Uh, everybody loves Toriel. I love Toriel. She's great. Alright, let's go to the next one. series we got the human which is the character you play as or at all of undertale um i really like them this is a very very good one <laughs> i'm not really sure what to say more than i just really really like this set and i'm very excited about all of them one one more than others but we'll get to that one i think next but yeah the human is uh very nice love the vibrant colors on them uh, all the little details, the pose, the little twig accessory. That's really nice. It's a really cute little figure. Um, under the base, same as Torio, the human. Undertale, fan gamer, happy worker, Toby Fox copyright, everything's exactly the same. Um, but yeah, that's really all I can say about it. Very nice. Um, they're all in scale, also, I'm pretty sure. Like, you put them by, put them by Toriel. Yeah, see? Very, very small. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, here comes one that I'm very, very excited for. It is Papyrus the Skeleton, or the Great Papyrus, whatever you want to call him. He is my favorite Undertale character. He's just very lovable, very fun. And uh, his figure portrays a lot of that uh, within his pose and his little cape. He just looks heroic. He looks great. He just wants friends. He just <laughs> he wants friends. I think that's his thing in the game. I don't know. Either way, he's very fun. How could you not like this guy? Uh, it's Papyrus, the skeleton. So one thing that's really cool is his base is huge just because of his, uh, his legs being very far apart for this pose. But, his name is written in the Papyrus font, as well as, uh, it char in character, this seems like something that Papyrus would do, it goes off to the side and continues on a second line with a bunch of exclamation points, because that's just Papyrus, he just has to be loud and proud about it. Uh, same everything here, Undertale Fan Gamer, Happy Worker, whatever. Um, he, one thing I gotta mention about these is they're very fragile. Like, none of them have broken out of the package or whatever but it seems like with too much pressure this guy could snap especially by his legs or his, his maybe his arm but they're very the quality is very nice but they are pretty much strictly for uh, display only I wouldn't take this places or go around all over the place playing with this like it's an actual toy it's a it's a figurine more like a little tiny statue than it is an action figure or anything obviously it doesn't move nothing, but it's very, very nice, but uh, just, you know, be cautious. And sometimes even putting these on the little pegs of the bases, because they don't come with the bases attached, um, can be kind of difficult. So you kind of just got to wiggle around very gently and uh, just press down on their feet, not on the top. That will put too much pressure, and uh, you can just get them attached to that. So, yeah, that's Papyrus. So let's go on to the next one. Alright, you either love him or you hate him, you've seen too much of him or you can't get enough of him. Sans the Skeleton, Papyrus' uh, brother. I was gonna say older brother, but honestly, I don't know. But yeah, but everyone, everyone knows and loves Sans. Can't get enough of Sans the Funny Skeleton. <laughs> um, this figure is great, just like his brother. I love this one, not as much, I love Papyrus, he's my favorite, like I said. But Sans is good too. I like him. Um, his hoodie has a lot of detail, such as the, you know, the little, this little indent thing they do around his body. That's nice. Uh, from his pockets to the little pulpy things. His zipper's not really detailed, but that's fine. It's a it's a small figure. Um, these are very small figures. I will talk more about that. But first of all, let's focus on Sans. Uh, I love his teeth. I like that they put paint in his teeth, because I know in earlier prints of this character, they didn't have any paint, any black paint to really uh, outline his teeth. 
and I think they added that because it was too hard to see with just white molding. So, very nice, very nice that they added that. Uh, his eyes are good, his pupils are molded in, which uh, gives more sort of depth to the to it all. But yeah, that's nice. Uh, once again, like Papyrus, when you put this guy on, try not to press from his head down. Just try to press from his feet or his body, just because uh, his legs are kind of thin, and I hear that they can break off easily. If, even if, you know, you take the guy off, it's kind of tough. But, yeah, this is kind of a display thing, so I don't really think I'm going to need to. So, in character with Sans, because he's known to be kind of a lazy skeleton, um, here's his non-triumphant little name written in Comic Sans, which is where he gets his name. And uh, I just think that's really funny. That's a really funny detail. I love the Fangamer Undertale merchandise because they got, they got all these little details you don't notice at first, but um, very nice. Everybody loves Sans. Everyone knows this funny little song. They just see the funny Undertale skeleton. <laughs> uh, Sans. Alright, we got one more to go, so let's move on. Alright, the last one in Series 1, which... It's kind of a random character for them to choose. I don't know why they didn't choose someone uh, more, I guess, a more popular character, a, a main character, I guess. But um, he has a little feature that is really worth them being in this set, um, which is Lesser Dog. So Lesser Dog is a dog, <laughs> a dog person with a sword and shield. And uh, the cool, so he's, he's kind of a boss character. He doesn't really have any dialogue or doesn't isn't really... Um, isn't a main character per se, but his fight is iconic because how you, I guess how you defeat him is not by killing him, or you could kill him, you can do whatever, that's Undertale, is you pet him on the head, but when you pet him on the head, for some reason in the game, his uh, neck extends, and like that, the figure has a little feature that makes his neck extend, which is awesome like they didn't need to do that but they did it and it's great it really paid off uh doesn't go too far yeah i think that's as far as it goes because you know that makes sense you can't fit the whole thing in there to have it stand but still really really nice really nice quality on this guy i love all the little cloth sort of details with the plastic very nice very cool pose uh very fine addition to the set like they could have gone with Flowey or Undyne or anyone else, but they did a Lesser Dog. And you know what? I'm glad they did. <laughs> Lesser Dog is amazing. All right, so let's do an overall view of all of them and uh, we'll be done. So here we got all five figures in Fan Gamers. Undertale Little Buddy Series 1 set. <laughs> and um, all together, they look really, they're just really nice. Um, I'm glad I got the whole set. I was only going to buy a few of them, but, you know, collecting. <laughs> it's great. Um, but yeah, like I said, my favorite is Papyrus. Like, there's, I just, I just love Papyrus. <laughs> he is my absolute favorite. Um, but everyone else is nice, too. <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to do is because I heard that they are... Because these are very small. I think I mentioned it earlier, but these figures are not that big. And for their price, it can be kind of, uh, kind of straw you away from buying them. But the quality is there. You really buy, you know, you pay for... This is the product. <laughs> you, the quality is great. It costs a bit. I think these were like 70 70 dollars for the whole set, which is a lot, but I think for the quality, they're great. They're acceptable. There's... Yeah, <laughs> they're good. But I wanted to compare them to an amiibo figure, because they are very somewhat in scale, I'd say. I mean, you put Mario by any of these guys, it seems pretty, pretty accurate. Um... Don't know really why I did that, because I, I know these were very I've just, I've had I have friends who have a few of these and I'm like, oh yeah, they're like amiibo, they're very tiny. I mean they don't they're not they don't do anything like amiibo, but they're very in scale, I'd say. Uh, we got another one here, There's Samus and Papyrus. They're kinda similar. Um But yeah. 
I was curious to what that looked like and now I know. So there's that. If you want to display these Undertale figures with your amiibo, you can do that. That's that's totally what this video is about. <laughs> huh, but anyway, yeah, that's uh those are the Fangamer Undertale figures. There is a series two. Which I haven't ordered yet, but I'm considering it, and when I do, I'll do a funny little review on that. Because it's got some really good ones in that set, too. Uh, so yeah, these are Fangamer Undertale Little Buddy figures, or whatever. Yeah. And that's a review. Bye!